Community-based first aid CBFA, is an approach to emergency preparedness and response that involves training community members to provide basic first aid and emergency care to their neighbors and families. The components of CBFA typically include Training CBFA programs typically begin with training community members in basic first aid skills such as assessing the scene of an emergency, providing CPR, controlling bleeding, and stabilizing broken bones. Mobilization Once trained, community members are encouraged to organize themselves into groups or teams that can respond to emergencies in their local area. These teams can be activated quickly in response to an emergency and can provide immediate assistance to those in need. Equipment and Supplies CBFA teams may be provided with basic first aid equipment and supplies such as bandages, gauze, and splints to use in emergency situations. Integration with local emergency services. CBFA programs may also work closely with local emergency services such as ambulance services or fire departments to ensure that emergency care is coordinated and integrated across different levels of response. Monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring and evaluation are critical components of CBFA programs to ensure that they are effective and meeting the needs of the community. This includes regular assessments of the program's impact, ongoing training and support for CBFA teams, and feedback from community members and local emergency services. Overall, CBFA programs are designed to empower communities to take an active role in emergency preparedness and response, and to build resilience in the face of disasters and emergencies. By training community members in basic first aid and emergency care, CBFA programs can help save lives and reduce the impact of emergencies on individuals and communities. Communication, Coordination, and Cooperation During the Emergencies During emergencies, effective communication, coordination, and cooperation are crucial for successful response and mitigation efforts. Here's a brief overview of each of these elements and how they contribute to emergency management. Communication Communication is essential in emergencies to ensure that accurate and timely information is shared between all parties involved in the response effort, including emergency responders, government officials, and the public. Clear and concise communication can help prevent panic, confusion, and misunderstandings and can also help identify emerging issues and opportunities for collaboration. Coordination Coordination involves organizing and managing the response effort to ensure that resources are effectively deployed and that activities are synchronized to achieve the desired outcomes. This includes establishing clear lines of authority and responsibility, identifying and allocating resources, and ensuring that everyone involved in the response effort is aware of their roles and responsibilities. Cooperation Cooperation involves working together towards a common goal. In emergencies, cooperation is essential for sharing resources, expertise, and knowledge across different organizations and sectors. Cooperation also involves building trust and fostering relationships between different groups to enable effective collaboration and problem solving. Effective communication, coordination, and cooperation require strong leadership, clear policies and procedures, and effective training and exercises. By working together and leveraging the strengths of different organizations and individuals, emergency responders can help mitigate the impact of emergencies and protect the health and safety of the public.